You may wonder how and why I chose these competencies for my curricular plans. Before doing any curriculum and instructional planning, my institution determined which competencies our plans would drive towards. We suggest you do the same. Even if you already have existing plans but haven't clearly identified which competencies the plans drive towards. Because if you have these in place, at any point in the learning journey, it's useful to think specifically about the question, have the students shown proof of accomplishment of these competencies through their assessments? But for now, do you know which competencies each subject or area of study in your institution drives towards? In case you aren't fully sure, consider the following questions to help begin figuring out your competencies. What does past data tell you about where the greatest gaps exist in prior student assessment performance? How ready are your students for college, career, and for contributing to society? What accreditation and national targets does your institution need to meet? What extracurricular activities are students and their parents interested in? What sets your institution apart from all others when it comes to learning? Did you notice how none of these questions was, what textbooks or materials do you have to teach? That's because publishers of materials don't know specifically what and how your students should learn. They only compile information in books and multimedia. So you may use these materials in a way that helps accomplish your targeted competencies rather than the other way around. If you find yourself writing new competency statements, click on the Writing New Competencies link below to be guided further and deeper. As an overview, we will remind you that writing good competencies involves meeting the needs of various stakeholders in the community. Most importantly, students as individuals and members of a complex world, but also families, employers, higher education institutions, and society at large. Secondly, we believe that your competencies should not place excessive emphasis on knowledge and abilities that your assessments will eventually not measure. If any of the grades or levels that you teach have to be assessed by summative assessments, like written examinations that are state or nationwide, you need to be extra careful here. And lastly, remember, knowledge is socially constructed. What that means is that students learn new things better when it is relevant to their lives. So pay close attention to the environments of the students outside classrooms when writing new competencies.